What's going on everybody, Resale Rabbit here. So if you've been following along the last week or so, we've been going through some pallets. I just finished filming this one, and yesterday I filmed the first half of this one. I also filmed, I can't point behind me, that one, the Amazon pallet. Today we're gonna go through some Home Depot pallets. We're gonna start with this one, and there's a lot of stuff in these pallets, so this is probably gonna be just this one in the video. Um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna go down the line and do all of them. I wanted to do that one because it's got a big Ryobi thing in it, but this one's a little easier to get to. So I've got a whole bunch of boxes here to sort things. Uh, most of this is going to go in the warehouse sale. What I'm going to do is toss eBay stuff in there because that's all stuff for eBay. Um, and then I'm probably just going to do like a low dollar day, middle dollar day, and ten dollar day. That's most likely the plan. So we're going to start digging. This is what it looks like. Oh, I paid 500 bucks for this pallet, and it is Home Depot. It should be mostly overstock, but there may be some returns in here as well. All right, so first we've got foam corners. Might hang out of these for shipping, but uh, if not, it's going to be a middle dollar day. We've got a paint set here. We get roller, brush, the tray, um, and then the roller thing. I don't know, which part is the roller? Is it the actual reusable part or the part that you throw away? I've heard them both referred to as roller. Anyways, that is going to be 10 bucks. Uh, what else? We got some serious bolt cutters. Does anybody use these for cutting bolts? You know, hence the name. Or are these just used for, you know, burglary? I feel like burglary is the way to go. These are about as long as my arm. So probably 30, well, I might say on here. Crescent is the brand. I bet these, I'm gonna set these aside and look them up for eBay because those may have some value. Now we've got this big thing, which is heat control window film. So like for tinting your windows, if you want to keep the heat from coming in, this is gonna be a $10 day item, but it doesn't fit in the box. So I'm just gonna set it right there. Actually, you know what? I've got a whole pallet of higher dollar stuff, throw it over there. All right, now we've got a belt, John Deere brand belt. This is an OEM John Deere belt. This is probably about 15 or 25 bucks on eBay. What is this? This is joist hangers for like outdoor. So if you're building a deck or, I can never remember how to pronounce these, pergola, pergola? I think a pergola is how it's pronounced. Uh, that type of thing. So I'm gonna quick look these up on eBay. Search, take a picture, where's the barcode? This is $41.53. Let me just make sure that's what they're actually selling for. Sold, only one sold for $28.46, but the listed ones are 40 to 45 bucks. We're gonna call that eBay. Uh, we've got a door closer. These are always good for eBay. This is, like you see usually in commercial applications, some pictures there. It just automatically closes the door. Those are usually about 40 or 50 bucks on eBay. Uh, here we've got, for a string trimmer, Echo brand. This one is open, so it's likely a return. Yeah, it's a little dirty. Given that it's dirty and used, I'm thinking it's probably not worth going on eBay. $10 day. All right, here we've got some Ryobi stuff. I think this all goes together somehow. Uh, I think it's a sprayer, like a 18 volt cordless sprayer, and then it probably all goes in here. I'm just gonna stack it on this pile, pile of Ryobi stuff that I went through in the other video, and that's probably going to end up in the special buy area of the sale. Uh, plastic riser extractor, uh, something to do with outdoor plumbing, like a sprinkler system or something. I don't know, this might be like 10 bucks on eBay. Put that in the eBay pile. All right, we got a basket full of stuff here. This is just part of a downspout. That's gonna be dollar day. Here we've got staples. These are for like cables, probably like coax or uh, ethernet or something like that, that'll be dollar day. And then here we've got a large this is for a post, for a six by six post. If you're going to uh, put one of those in to support a deck or a pergola 
or something like that. And I don't see a UPC on, oh, there it is. Let's look this up. The last one was just Joyce hangers and it was like 50 bucks. This, uh, there's only one listed for $62.12. Usually when there's only one listed, there are none sold and there are none sold. But if it's listed for 62, I'd rather post it 49.99 on eBay and maybe it'll sell, maybe it won't. Uh, what is this? Uh, this is just a little electrical fitting. Quantity of five, there's only two in it. Um, I think it's for conduit when you're putting your conduit together. The fact that there's only two in there, I'm gonna put that on dollar day. Here we've got some orbit thing. Now this is the type of thing that's probably gonna be super cheap on eBay, under 10 bucks. But it's also the type of thing that probably won't even sell on dollar day. So we'll list it. What are these? This is the damn corner. I didn't curse in this video, see? Um, Odie is the brand. Again, this is the type of thing that I don't think is gonna sell in the sale. We've got, I don't know, probably eight or 10 of these. We'll go eBay with them. And what do we have here? We've got a lock, but no key. I don't know why this is a frequent thing with Home Depot. I always set them aside in case the key just got separated on the pallet and it's down on the bottom, but odds are that's going in the trash. Uh, it's a master lock, though, so you really don't need a key to open it. And what do we have here? We've got a little drain split or hose splitter, so you put it on your spigot and run two hoses. Eh, it'll be like a low dollar day. And then we've got a Club Cadet 50-inch high-lift blade set. Uh, they're not sharpened. Are these normally not sharpened when they're sold? Anyways, um, lawnmower blades are usually pretty good on eBay. And then here, I'm thinking this is part of a bagger for a riding lawnmower. Is there any way to identify it? It does not look like it. There's no model number or anything on it. So there's no way to know what it goes for. If there was a model number or something where I could say this goes to uh, Club Cadet, 56 inch riding lawn mower or something like that, then it would potentially be worth eBay. It's not though, it's too, uh, it's not marked, so I don't know. And that's gonna be a $10 day item, but again, too big for the $10 box. Rainbird, this is an irrigation thing, tubing it says. Usually irrigation stuff, you know, sprinkler system type stuff is um, pretty good sellers. Oh, this is a whole bunch of these. Oh, tubing cutters. Now these probably these are essentially similar to PEX cutters. I'm gonna quick look them up. I'm assuming they're probably not worth selling on eBay. They're probably about 10 bucks at the Home Depot. Uh, let's see, oh, maybe not. Someone's listed for $17.97 plus shipping. What are the solds? Uh, about 10 bucks shipped. It's tough to say what we want to do. I think we're going to put these on eBay, 10 bucks shipped. I will walk away with about five um, and just see if they sell. Otherwise, they're just going to end up in the sale. And this is the type of thing that's, maybe it'll sell on $5 a day, maybe not. What else do we have? We've got, I love these, uh, hose. They call it a water cannon. Thing, but it's got like this instead of having to hold the trigger. That's how mine is. It doesn't have the giant handle. It's got a smaller handle on it. I much prefer that because then you don't need to hold the trigger down. Um, this, probably going to go $10 a day. I know that sounds loud. I'm literally tossing it in a box. It's like two feet from where my hand is when I let go. Um, let's see. We've got two Oregon chainsaw blades. These are usually good on eBay. Uh, I'm not looking everything up because historically we've sold chainsaw blades probably from that brand. So I just know that they're worth putting on eBay and Tim will do the rest. I have no idea what this is. I think it's an adjustable foot for something. So I'm going to set this aside in case I find three more. Uh, here we've got an Orbit hose timer. It's just a cheap little manual one, but I'll probably get 10 bucks for it. Uh, handle set for a patio door, $10 a day. Uh, Club Cadet lawnmower belt, and that'll be eBay. Uh, let's see, rubber foam, this is like a weather seal. That's gonna be more like a mid value. Let's 
Same with this backer rod, you know, it was like three bucks-ish in the store. I could potentially put those as low value. Uh, let's see, here we get some Ryobi string line. I'm gonna look that up because I'm not sure. That might be better off $10 a day. Uh, this is something to do with trimmers. It's just an extra parts bag that was in a box. That's just gonna go on dollar day. Maybe someone will buy it. What is this string trimmer line? It's three spools. Uh, 10 bucks free shipping. Put it on $10 day. Uh, here's a door closer, but for a patio door. Uh, because the box is all open and everything, we're gonna go mid value day. Is this a raincoat maybe? I think it's a raincoat with the reflectives on it. I'm gonna set this aside and we're actually gonna put it, hang it up with the clothing, the apparel. All right, we've got Klein Tools, magnetize or demagnetize. That's interesting. I'll set that aside. And of course there's spring and screws and stuff stuck to it. Um, and then this is just a little pipe fitting, dollar day. Uh, this is an actual bag with the skew on it. It's probably not going to stay in here, but Dollar Day. All right, here we've got another Orbit thing, replacement solenoid for irrigation. That's eBay. Uh, another. So this is another lawnmower blade, but there's no sticker on it. I think it's part of that dual set. So maybe that set has three blades. Maybe there's another one to make it a dual blade. I'm just going to put it in the eBay bin. Uh, oh, here we go. Earthwise, battery, unopened, brand new. Out of curiosity, this is obviously an eBay item, but out of curiosity, let's see what it's going for online. There's one listed at $69.99 plus 12 bucks shipping. It says they sold 42 of them. Um, and then sold, let's see, open box 53, open box 43, brand new, $69.99, open box 48. So we're probably gonna go, we do free shipping, so that'd be, 60 70 bucks plus 12 82 bucks free shipping we'll probably do 79.99 free shipping uh this is spiral wrap oh kind of to wrap around cords you can kind of see it there that's gonna be dollar day oh we got some edging here we got a used sprinkler the stake is a little bent we'll do that mid value and some edging here that's going to be probably $10. I'll put it over here with the big stuff. What is this? A handle for a patio door, mid value. Just a pipe, I guess. It's got a screen and a threaded part to go on a garden hose. I don't know what this is for, probably dollars. All right, next we've got I don't mess around with just loose parts like this. This is something that someone might buy for a dollar, which is loose stuff, it's missing parts. I just throw these in the garbage. I'm not gonna try and find all the random parts for it. Speaking of which, I don't have a garbage can over here. So we're just gonna make this box a garbage box. You know, let's do this one because the box is all messed up. So that's gonna be trash. Uh, let's see, we've got a couple of hooks here they, for clamping on pipes. Dollar a day, and realistically, I doubt someone's gonna pay a dollar each for them. It's probably going to be um, something that will sit until bag day, and people will put it in when they're filling their bag. All right, garden bags. These are fairly cheap. Uh, probably go mid value. So there's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven of these packs of leaf bags. These will um, sign up and get a coupon. <clears throat> these will sell pretty well because our next sale is gonna be inching into fall, it'll be in September. Uh, here we've got a drain kit for a downspout. So you can have, instead of having your downspout go straight underground, you can have it go into this decorative drain. And then this feeds out. Yeah, it's in here, there's an outfeed hole and you can run that into your dry well or what have you. Let's quick look this up on eBay. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be better suited for $10 a day. Yeah, $26.99 free shipping. Um, someone's selling, oh, three of them for 85. 
$26.99. This is big. It's going to be pricey to ship. We're better off getting 10 bucks for it in the sale. Uh, we got another piece of that Ryobi thing. I don't know if there are multiple sprayers in there. If it's got like two sides and it mixes together or something. Uh, here we got a pipe fitting. We've got a wheel. This is a rubber wheel. It's a pretty good wheel. I think mid value. I bet someone will pay five bucks for that. Uh, more backer rod. And this is a replacement hose and regula regulator. These are 20 bucks, and I know that because I bought one. I had to replace it on my grill. We'll get 10 for that in the sale. Here's a natural gas conversion kit. Now, this I haven't bought. I'm pretty sure we've sold those on eBay before. Uh, another string trimmer, Echo One. The box is open, but this one does look new. So we'll get like a Tim list on eBay. And another chainsaw blade. Again, this one, the box is open. The other two, I'm pretty sure were sealed. <coughs> but, sure looks unused to me. Tim will give a better look when he goes to list it on eBay. Here we've got a thing. I have no idea what this is. It's a frame for something. Get a little hook so it mounts in on something. I wonder if it's for this bag or no, too small. I don't know what this is for. I'm gonna set it aside. This is the type of thing, if I don't find in here what it actually goes to, it's probably just gonna go out on Dollar Day and someone will find a use for it. I mean, you could drill a couple of holes in here and like screw it to your wall and hang a garbage bag on it and then you've got a bag for something. So. That's the type of thing that someone will probably buy, but it's tough to say for how much. This is leaking. Uh, I'm going to assume it doesn't say Ryobi on it, but I'm going to assume it goes to that sprayer. So I will set that aside. All right. Packing paper, 100% recycled. And these are fairly inexpensive. It's probably going to be like a three, five dollar day, but it's too big for the box. We've got another part of a sprayer. Oh, you know what? I wonder if this is part of those sprayers. I don't know. I'm going to set these aside. Let Tim figure that out. That's why I have employees. All right, we've got an Echo chainsaw blade. The package is open. I'm not sure you can actually pull the blade out of here. It might have just gotten torn open, but it also looks unused. Uh, we've got... Troy built lawnmower belt. We've got <laughs> butt joint. Um, I'm not even gonna bother looking any more of these up. This is for, again, um, like decks and stuff like that, pergolas and whatnot. The first two I looked up were worth listing on eBay, so I'm just gonna assume other ones are as well. We've got an industrial cheese grater. Now, I have no idea what this is for. Um, it's an extra, I'm sure it's an extra piece for something pretty rough cut on the bottom, so I'm assuming it mounts onto something that's like a step. USA, easy. It's got some numbers on it, so what I'm actually gonna do is put this in the eBay pile, and maybe it's a spare part for some, oh, 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 it didn't stay on there. It was like balancing on the edge. Um, if Tim can look it up and find what the part goes to, it might be worth listing on eBay. If not, because it does have some sharp edges, we're just gonna throw it away so no one gets hurt during the sale. We've got a floor mat. Put that over here on the floor where it belongs. Uh, now this is another, oh, now this one is garbage. This is a lawnmower belt, but it's cut. Now I've had them like this where there was no packaging because it just slips right off. These make it easy to find. Sometimes there's something stamped on it and you can figure out what it is. But this one's actually cut. We're just gonna throw that out. What is this? A grill set, eight piece stainless steel grill set. We'll get 10 bucks for that. This is air conditioner weather stripping, probably Dollar Day. I don't know that that's gonna sell all that well right now anyways. We got a couple of kick plates for a door. Definitely not eBay. I don't know what these are worth. Just because of the size, I bet they'll probably end up put out on $10 Day. What else do we have in here? We got do not touch. Oh, rodent bait station. And it's got a key to get it. I bet that's 10 bucks. We've got some sort of little hose here. Probably for irrigation. It's just hose. Dollar day. 
We've got a door closer. Again, for a patio door, it's open. You'll probably get about five bucks for it. We've got another chainsaw blade. This one is leaking out of its package. Um, but again, it looks brand new. You can usually tell when these things have been used. Uh, that on, uh, and half of it came out of the box again. Uh, let's see, we've got a plant. This is so you can support your planter. Those stickers kind of covering it, but basically just brackets. This will be uh, probably a middle value day just because of the time of the year. We get edging here, no dig edging, 20 feet, $10 day. What is this? Maverick. Uh, this is a grill thermometer, but it's like a digital one and it's factory sealed. We're going to look it up on eBay. Most of the eBay stuff, if it ends up not being listed on eBay, then we will usually just end up putting it out on $10 day. We've got another one of these plant holders. Uh, what else? All right, watering cans. We've got one, two, three, and four. I would assume these are probably like five to 10 bucks in the store. We'll probably put them on a $5 day. Um, as far as seasonal stuff, some of this, it's all gonna come down to weather. If it's getting chilly in our September sale, a lot of the summer stuff, irrigation, watering cans and whatnot, we're just gonna hang on to until next spring. But if it's gonna be warm, like last year in September, it was still pretty hot out. It was, you know, 70s every day. A lot of the summer stuff will still sell. All right, here we've got a replacement uh, blade kit for an edger. These are usually, we usually sell these on eBay. I don't think we get a lot of money for them, but something. Uh, two sprinklers, that's $10 there. We'll use another box, two sprinklers, $10 there. I don't know what these are. They look almost like brackets, like the pergola stuff. They've got these little, maybe they're hinges? These might be like gate hinges. There's a whole bunch of them in here. I don't know. I'm going to fill a separate box with these. Maybe we can figure out what they are. There's no markings on the packaging. But here, I'll open one up so you guys can see it. Maybe you can tell me. Made in... Good thing I'm wearing my safety sandals. These things have protected my feet from so much. All right. I feel like Yosemite Sam just told me to dance. Uh, so this one's actually broken, uh, but both of them are like this. You got a little bracket here and then that, which makes me think maybe a hinge. Uh, I don't know where the other piece went that fell off of there, uh, but they would, I'm assuming attach together and be a hinge and then you put a pin in it. I'm not sure, but we've got a whole bunch of them. Maybe we'll find one that has some detail on the package or an empty box. It explains what they are. I'm not sure. It's kind of neat. It's someone's business card from Texas, but it's made of wood. Oh, it even bends and folds. There you go. It's made of wood. Uh, I can't tear that. This is what they make parking tickets out of material you can't tear. But if I was in some sort of, it looks like they do window shutters. If I was in a similar type of business, I would consider wooden business cards. All right, Everbuilt, set of security locking hinges. These are brand new. Typically these aren't worth listing though. Let's look them up. I'm assuming these are probably gonna be a $10 a day item. Well, maybe not. 1955, they're listed for. Uh, sold, 23 bucks. Those will go on eBay. Uh, we've got a bird feeder here that has been used. You can see some bird feed in it. Um, I don't know if all the parts are here but I bet someone will still pay 10 bucks for it. And if not, that's the beauty of our warehouse sales. If it's still on the table the next day, it'll be seven and the price keeps dropping. Here we've got a power care chainsaw blade. Is it considered a chainsaw blade or a chainsaw chain? I'm not sure. I bet it would stay in the package. Uh, here we've got a replacement. No, this is something. Yeah, garage door. The bottom of a garage door, weather seal. 10 bucks. My $10 box is getting pretty full. We got more of these 
Oh, easy open gate latch. eBay. All right, this is Kingsford Caddy for charcoal. Here's the funny thing. I have one of these exactly the same, like the whole packaging, the design. The only difference is the top of mine is red instead of blue and it doesn't have Kingsford on it. But I bought mine at Fleet Farm for rock salt, for like salting your driveway. Same exact thing, probably the same manufacturer. Uh, but anyways, this is probably gonna be 10 bucks. Let's continue down here. We've got this. Access doors, metal access door with frame. So probably like if you've got plumbing behind a finished wall that you need to be able to access so you can open it, something like that. Probably gonna be $10 a day, but that's the type of weird stuff that sometimes surprises you on eBay. All right, we got another set of hinges. Man, I'm just getting unhinged here. Uh, here is another blade. This is probably, let's see. High lift blade set, contains two blades. So that one that we found earlier that was the odd one out probably goes with this. We'll put that there. Oh, wait, no, no, we got another one. That was loud. All right, we've got a wheel, probably for a lawnmower or something. Mid value day. Uh, another one of those door closers for a patio door. Let's see what's in this box. Uh, let's see, it does not say on the side. Let's open her up and find out. This is, I see wheels, I see London, I see France, I see Raken's underpants. All right, what is this? We got a handle for something. We've got two wheels. And then whatever this is. And this stuff, I bet it's for a grill. This looks like a vent for a grill. This is probably spare parts for a grill. It does not say what it goes to though. This is the type of thing that, so here's what we're gonna do with this. I'm gonna give this to Tim. Maybe there's something stamped in the side that indicates what it goes to. And if so, it's probably best for eBay. If not, the wheels will probably sell for about five bucks each. Someone just needs wheels for something. I have a big, like a four foot tall fan that we run in the building when it's really hot to get some airflow. And I got it, one of the wheels is broken. So just like this, you know, random wheels like this, I put on it. So this is what we'll do. We'll end up just putting the reasonably sellable parts in the warehouse sale if we can't figure it out on eBay. More sprinklers. Now what do we have here? We've got another box. Whatever this is, you can see on the bottom, it's designed for display. Uh, so it's easy for them to stock the shelves, which I like because those are easy for us to stock the tables. And it looks nice. I don't think I cut this tape all the way through. These are Fitz tires, eight inch. Oh. Tubes for tires. Let's look one up on eBay. Oh, there you go. Inner tube right there. Let's look one up on eBay. It says it's for wheelbarrows with eight inch, well, tires with eight inch rims. It's got a picture of a wheelbarrow. And let's see, nothing on eBay. Next, we've got a roller. Dollar day. Uh, we've got this one also open. I don't know that it was open enough to remove it from the package. That's gonna go on eBay. We've got the filter to end all filters. This thing is huge. Doesn't say what it goes to. I'm thinking probably dollar day. These just don't sell in the sale. If we knew what it went to, there might be some value on eBay. All right, we've got a silver bullet pocket hole, pocket hose. Easy 10 bucks. Two rollers on a mid value day. A couple more door closers for screen doors. Mid value day. We've got a saw blade here. I'm going to set this aside because someone's going to cut themselves if they're digging through a box. 
we get another retail display type box. This is going to be different than the last one. Let's see what we've got in here. It's going to be similar to the last one. More inner tubes. This is for a six inch wheel. And we've got four of those. I really don't, maybe $10 day. I really don't know what those go for. Uh, we get textured wallpaper. So instead of doing beadboard, you put this stuff up. And it's probably going to be 10 This is a maintenance kit for, I don't know, probably a chainsaw. For use on handheld blower. It's a filter and a spark plug. This will probably be a mid value item. We got another door closer. This one for a commercial door. That's eBay. We got a security kit here. This goes on your door to make it more secure. That'll be five dollar a day. Another one of these, um, like beadboard style wallpaper. I couldn't think of the word. Let's see. We've got another similar in style for the pocket hose and. Anchoring spikes, so it's for like landscaping and whatnot. We've sold these on eBay, but I believe we sell them as a two pack for like 20 bucks or something. We'll see if there are more. Let's see, weather seal. We got a whole bunch of these uh, little kink free hose things. I get four right here. I can be doubted. It is a whole bunch in this box. Uh, more joist hangers. I believe this is the skew that we looked at first on those. Hummingbird feeder. It's glass. I don't know if you can hear that. I'll give it a shot at 10 bucks. There's still a lot of stuff in this bin. Here we've got some grill tools, 10 bucks. Uh, grill thermometer. This is just a little one, probably ten dollars. I doubt that's gonna have some value. Let's some more hose. Uh, let's see, spikes for moles. Yeah, we'll try it at ten. See how it does. What is this? It's an installation kit for something. It says white closer. So I'm going to assume that's going to be for like a patio door again. And here's the handle for it. And I'm putting these both in like the mid value days. What is this? A pop up thing, something for irrigation. I'll put that on the eBay pile. Now we've got hardware for a fancy old timey door. I'll set that aside in case there's like a box with the rest of it. And a tire gauge, mid value. What is this? Another Echo, and this looks brand new. I think the other one was also brand new. Um, words and things, like a blade for an edger. Put that up there. Oh, what is this? Iguana Scram. Scram, get out of here. I honestly have no idea. We'll put it out on 10 and just see what it does. Maybe it'll sell. I don't know what that's worth. This is a master belt. How delicious does that look? I'm getting hungry. It's a grill cover. That'll be eBay. Uh, more anchoring stakes, but it's a different brand and a sprinkler. Uh, let's go mid value on the sprinkler, eBay on the spikes. Here's some more spikes, the same one that we just grabbed, same brand and everything. Half of what I'm assuming is pruners. I believe these will actually come apart though, so we'll see if we find the other half. All right, let's see. Sprinkler valve, eBay, door closer, mid value. We're getting to the point where it's a lot of small stuff in here now. Oh, here we go. The ones I told you we sell is a two pack. There's another one. So you know, I'm pretty sure it's like 20, 30 bucks, something like that. Here is, oh, this is some heavy, a post base. The box is kind of open, so we'll have to make sure all the parts are there. Uh, but we'll assume that's going to be eBay. 
Uh, let's peek through here and just see if there's anything interesting on the top or anything. What is this? Composite edging. Probably $10 day, but it's too big for a box. Anything else interesting in here? There we go. Paint sprayer. I'm assuming this is probably gonna be ten dollar day. It's probably not a super high end brand, but it's gonna go on the eBay pile just in case. I'll Tim look it up and he will make the call on whether that will end up in the sale. And this for a chainsaw. Some sort of insulation, duct insulation. So if you're trying to get your ducts in a row, you use this. I don't know. That was terrible. Pretend I didn't say that. Uh, here we go, wireless keypad. These are usually good for a garage door opener. Those are usually good for eBay, and that just bounced right out of the eBay thing. Not seeing a whole lot of interesting stuff. A lot of stuff that we've already seen here. Let me bring the camera over here. I still have like half a pallet here. A lot of small stuff. These we usually sell on eBay. Sponge roller, garage door seal. Just stuff. Uh, storm door handles. There's another th one of those for eBay. Lawnmower wheels. It's a lot of the stuff that we already saw. So without boring you, I think that's where I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna finish sorting this off camera. And if I find anything noteworthy that we haven't already seen, I will let you know. And we are all emptied out. This is trash. Uh, everything else is empty. So this is two, well, one and two third boxes of mid value stuff, $10 a day, low value stuff. Still haven't figured out what those are. That's $10 a day, mid value, $10 a day. Uh, that paint sprayer, I think, was on a different palette. No, maybe it was in this one. I don't remember now. Uh, but that's probably going to be a special buy area. And then that's the garden bags. We've also got some Ozlands kind of out and about. eBay stuff right here. We filled this thing up and mostly emptied it out. This stuff is still from that Amazon palette, but started filling it up again. And then some other larger items that are probably going to be $10 a day that just didn't fit in a box. So that... I still never really figured out what this is. I never really looked that closely. Let's see what it says on here. Uh, let's see, chemical sprayer. So I'm not sure how it all works. It looks like one of these might be extra, but you never know. Maybe there's more in these other pallets. So that is this Home Depot pallet, 500 bucks. I'm estimating that eBay will easily cover the 500 bucks. All the sales stuff will be profit. And there's probably I would guess another 500 bucks worth of stuff, at least in this stuff, in our where for a warehouse sale. So I'll probably double up on that one. So future videos, I might go through some more of these on video. I think the next one I'm gonna do is an Amazon palette on a video. So hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one.